previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! You son of a... right here and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not now what I need who the fuck I don't know but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out hello everybody I'm Sushi Cat and I hope you've all had a fantastic day and I am mortal I hope you don't have a problem with oh I don't know water <laughs> trigger warning for all you hydrophobes out there we're going to be going to a riverside city. Yeah, because we actually hit Savannah in this one, don't we? Yes, we do. And after all that shit that we went through in the last episode, I think we kind of really deserve to... Sit back and relax for a, a yeah. day or two? <laughs> Maybe find a, you know, a milestone, feel a bit of achievement. <laughs> find a splint and some meds for Omid's leg yeah I threw his ass off a bridge yes you did that is a thing that happened uh yeah he's gonna die no <laughs> uh, I'm not having this argument with you again about who is definitely going to die because... like, I'm just going to assume that everyone dies oh fucking hell Ben do you have to be so shit <laughs> Still not happy with him. I like that the uh, that the old dude there is just carrying a shovel. <laughs> well, it's for it's for killing and burying, isn't it? It's a multi-purpose tool. Can't I just hold it? Oh, oh yeah, and Clem's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Silent treatment. Just for a little while. We're getting real close uh, to where my mom and dad are. But, I mean, Maybe can I she can... really be blamed? Not now. Uh, I need you to focus. Keep your attention no. on the street. Okay, sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty like, bad. Oh, well, I'm fine. You're not You know, fine. it's like he... You need to rest. The, the dude that he was talking on the, on the radio could have her parents. Kenny, Doesn't mean that they're not nibblers. There, there should be just a few further blocks up ahead. truth, yes. <laughs> Always with the truth. And what is with my frame rate right now? Jesus. I am running no extraneous background processes. I opened up the task manager to kill them. Oh, the frames just improved. the hell? We're now at 15 rather than 6 per second. The bells, Esmeralda! The bells! The bells! No one's ringing that bell. Oh, yeah, someone's ringing bells. Church bells. That's, um, hey, he said it's automatic. Bell goes off at twenty past the hour. <laughs> twenty past the hour. Hmm. Yeah, I Amit mean, don't look so Someone's bad. Someone's up there. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Shut up, Ben. You don't know your ass from your elbow. <laughs> I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Like, yeah, that's what everyone thought. Yeah, that's what even I thought. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! Can we get out the street while those bells are tolling? Yeah, let, let's not be stood here arguing <laughs> with an invisible man over a radio. Who's that? You know, and shouting. Trying to fuck with us? Yeah. It sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? <laughs> you never did read much, did you, Ken? No. 
I, I greatly I... doubt that he read a great deal. Well, this is just surprise of the fucking decade, isn't it? Oh yeah, I couldn't see that coming at all. <laughs> We're in a city and there are zombies. Everybody, run! Time to go. Yep. <laughs> Forever practical, I, I like to think. Right, okay, I need to, I need to fucking. Have... What kind of swing was that? It was a telltale animation swing. <laughs> they, they, they're good at the. Ow. At, at the plot, not so much at the animation and the gameplay. Oh, for fuck's sake! No, I, I gotta be good with my aim. Woo! Save Ken. Don't you think? What do you mean? That was as close Go, as... Ben, oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Of course. Ben, oh, help me. Ben's <laughs> gonna get nibbled. No, nope, Ben's just gonna run the fuck away like a pussy. God damn it. <sighs> oh, yeah. Gotta... Shoot, shoot these guys. No! Are you serious? You I was that. just about to click on his fucking head. I think that was scripted anyway. I don't think yeah. you can actually hit that one. It still makes me feel fucking useless though, because I was just making Move sure that I didn't get Middle munched Street's first, and then. <laughs> That's not all. Are you oh, fucking still a with a us, you asshole? Wait, I thought you just ran away. No, he ran just far enough away to not be eaten by the things that were threatening Clementine. Okay, so yeah. yeah, Chuck's kind of been left There's behind no a bit. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. So, I like this old dude. It's yeah. a shame he's just about to die. Oh yeah, because that wasn't a heroic setup right there. Yeah, it's a heroic last door. stand where he gets munched. How many times <laughs> have you seen games or movies where someone pulls that shit and everyone's like, fuck, we just lost him. And then like okay? 10 minutes later, he well, shows up covered yeah. in blood yeah. and uh, wielding a zombie arm. Yeah, I suppose. It, it kind of reminds me of our um, our roleplay exploits in uh, the zombie apocalypse. We'll uh, do we really need to... You know they can smell blood. Start with that shit because we'll be we'll be here for hours <laughs> talking about that man. Right, fucking you. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Uh, if you freeze up, you die. That girl in danger again. Yeah. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. <laughs> like, yeah, you're gonna be uh, scarier than the walkers, huh? He murdered a senator, I think, offing a fucking college boy. <laughs> Sorry, no, he's in high school, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. Alright, so... You Ben's... gonna go and check on Clem? Yeah, sure she's that, was, okay. that was my first thought. I was just running through the mental list. Because priorities are shifting here? all the damn time here. Well, yeah, it's a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I think maybe they did. Yeah. I think so too. I'm standing guard in case they show up. <laughs> when you can rely on the eight, nine-year-old more than the fucking adults okay. around you, there's, there's a problem. <laughs> Well, Krista approves, apparently, but Omid's kind of... How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. Oh, yeah, this is fresh then, bleeding. No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> Krista's right. Looks pretty bad. So, I told you, you're he's, he's going to die. That Tell leg is going to be... Ah, Jesus. Highly infected, and nobody's gonna have the balls to take it off, and he's going to die. You'd be surprised about the impromptu amputations thing. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not gonna get too deep into that, but... Those of you who have played this will know what I'm talking about. Hey Ken, what's up? Can we get in? 
Uh, I'm not even going to fucking ask him about his emotional state because even if he, even if he knew he was falling apart and making irrational decisions, he would never admit it. No. He's kind of. Uh, Think I'll go have a look around. Insular in that way. Yeah. Well, he's he's the provider. He's the big manly man, isn't he? No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Mm hmm. I well, see a cat flap. Yeah, this? go on, put your head in there and take like a look. Some kind of pet door here. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just poke my like, head. Can we put Ben's head in there and the have him take a look? A locked doggy door. <laughs> if he starts screaming, like we know there's critters in there. Dog wears a yeah. Gun, the well, heads. apparently it's locked, so we have to find a well, like shit. the radio Every collar tag. It's one of those fancy All fucking right, maglock so pet doors. Yeah. Oh, well, this is going to be uh, fun. So we need its collar. Yeah, you're gonna have to go and find the dog. They did just show the dog house. Yes, they did. Like ah. Dead dog. <laughs> Dead dog. Dead many things. Yeah. I think the dog in this situation is kind of the least of our concerns <laughs> on the mortality front. Well, that's assuming, of course, that dogs don't become nibblers as well. They appear not to. Weirdly. Mm. To Could that. really do with uh, Chuck's spade. Oh! Oh. Well... <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> I think this is the exact same model. Mm. But uh, hey, this was pretty low budget back in what, 2012 when it was released? Yeah. So, you know. Be careful. I mean, they ha Digging up dead things hadn't what it used really to be, I mean. made a name for themselves yet. No, and you know, there, there wasn't really that much in the way of demand for point and click adventure. Yeah, I think actually this is the game that kind of made their name. Although I believe they made the uh, Back to the Future. Yes, they did. Adventures, the Telltale's Back to the Future, which game? I'm, I'm, I've played all the way through. I'm kind of on the fence about it because, on the one hand, I really sort of love Back to the Future. On the other hand, it was kind of definitively ended. Yeah. And they really had to pull some contrived bullshit to... Mm, uh, that dog looks very nice. Oh, could you not just go for a sandwich right now? <laughs> All right, let's... I have corned beef in the fridge. Oh, sweet. Oh. Can't get it off. Oh. Well, why it's don't... Ew. Okay, that is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of the few times I've agreed with Ben completely without reservation. It's just the yeah, the smell of death really, really, it's its not a smell you ever forget. It's not so much immediate death as, as like, stale rot, yeah. I've heard. Yeah, just, Look, no. Excuse me, Ken, excuse me, excuse Ken, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not something that you yes! ever God forget. Damn. Okay, and now we send the small girl into deadly danger. Yeah, yeah no. just, just shove your head in there, go on. Well, he did lift up the flap and then look, rather than <laughs> just stick his head through. Oh. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. I think Krista heard him. Yes, because uh, Ken decided to shout. It's no good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Clem, are you okay? Say something. <sighs> she is impulsive, though, isn't she? Yeah, she'll learn. Ta yeah, tell her off. Good work, Clem, but don't go shooting off like uh, that. I'm sorry, I I can't okay? be the asshole help. about this. Did she did good. She Just has to know that, there. but at the same time, I mean, don't fucking do that to me. <laughs> starting to hurt like hell. Oh yeah, that door opens inward somehow with Looks the okay with here. the boards. <laughs> A derp. 
these little things like that that sometimes I think, oh, come on, guys. If anything, it should have been boarded from the inside, but then it wouldn't be something you can open, so... Yeah. All my what? <laughs> Anyways, we have Sanctuary. Well, you hope. And Omid can rest his leg, which has been miraculously rebound yeah. suddenly. Hey. Good. He's always I'm a fucking ray of sunshine, this guy. Thanks, I, I like him, he keeps it light. That's another reason why I think he's going to die. <laughs> Wow, you are the worst. I can't keep repeating that, but you are the absolute worst. Oh yeah, Krista wants to know about the about this radio. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes uh, you no, think of the course. same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street. There's always someone that just needs to spoil it for everyone else, isn't sense. there? Mm -hmm. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't so I'm trying to keep the thread of this conversation because I know the shape of what's All happening, but the details no kind of. <laughs> Damn right. I'm They're being a bit hazy, are they? The river. Maybe yeah. They those boats I mean, I, I've we'll backed down from there. my position of where I was like, yeah, I know absolutely everything. How do I get <laughs> this belt off? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, fatal last words. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down yeah. outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Here's assuming that people haven't already grabbed up the yeah, boats. Yeah, it's, it's been like, what, well, three secure. months, I'll four months? Better. Yeah. Sure. But, you know, right. the boat is you Ken's entire to hope to at this point. Mm. He's basically sure hanging his door, fucking understand? family on that okay. boat. You know, rather than face the fact that they're dead, because if he had internalized that properly, Thanks, he would not be functional right now. Back, okay? No, it's, it's kind so, of like his last hope, for? isn't it? Going yeah. Door like that so checking first. I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask yeah, it, it, the next it was kind of dumb, out, Clementine. Okay? There's okay. a difference between looking around through a window, reaching in, and getting the latch after careful consideration mm. and just scampering through a dog door <laughs> All empty. so yeah don't worry I am keeping track of the time you don't need to be trying to do the same Nothing I'm sorry I keep looking time. over at our clock and <laughs> and, well yeah you say that but there's nothing wrong with an extra pair of eyes mm. no power. and I'm trying to be responsible here with this I'm just oh thank you Walter I'm just thinking <laughs> that I should maybe watch this entire series back when we're done oh yeah and watch how how my responses change as we go <laughs> well no because we started out I was like blithely <laughs> sat there explaining things to you and like talking about the conversation and we've kind of drifted since then okay that's the back door I'm not going to look at every little detail. Must have stopped no. A while ago. But, um... Oh, hey, oh, hey look. Whiskey. <laughs> Booze. This place yeah. Two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or they did. Probably not the best idea right now. We need to stay frosty. Really, Lee? Well... You need to, and I quote, Stay, stay frosty. frosty. Jesus, that's like something a white man with a fucking uniform would say. I hope this house is safe. And now I'm trying out reverse racism to see what it feels like. No, it's got to say, not much different. <laughs> it still just feels like racism. Still just feels like racism. I'm searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. 
Wow. He's incredibly forgiving of the man who punted him off a bridge. And broke, you know, broke his leg and potentially killed him. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. I don't know. Every little accident that happens around here is somehow my fault. I suppose you're going to blame me for Carly getting shot in the face as well. But yeah, what? you could have blamed Ben. I had no way to know it was him. <laughs> I mean, I knew, but in character I didn't have any reason to know. Really, really, the, the fucking something Mop. falls out of a cupboard <laughs> trope. Just... Yeah. That's right, the next thing it's going to fall out, the cupboard is going to try and eat him. <laughs> It'll be Omi, like, nah, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you broke my leg. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Well, I thought I had checks coming? down here. But where am I meant to look now then? I've looked there, I've looked there. That's the kitchen, that's the living room we were just in. Yeah, oh, there's else? a door here. Ah, I need to check the doors. Miss the doors and the picture. Oh, a lovely white suburban family. Well, it's not suburban. They're right smack in the middle of town. Like, yeah, it's, 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 nothing, a, it's nothing an expensive townhouse. Yeah, nothing saying that they weren't suburban before. Uh... Stop projecting shit. <laughs> All clear in here. Like you've ever lived in any suburbs. I have. Have you? Yeah. I thought you were always... Never mind. Most people wouldn't understand our banter if we started talking about the layout of Plymouth. Yeah, no. I was like, I've... Oh, wait, no. There's also... Uh... Virginia Water. Yeah. No. And yep, yep, yep. Oh, this sweet. Is the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Nice. Thumbs up, Lee. Please Good job not shooting anything out of panic. Okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Okay, so time to go upstairs? Yep. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten him back. Oh, yeah. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just some whiskey. <laughs> that might help. I know, whiskey would be good. Clementine if For she knows cleaning. Who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Yeah. <sighs> uh. Clementine, Krista asked you a question, and both of us would like an answer. Who have you been talking to? I don't know. He said he was a friend. He said he could help me find my mom and dad. I told him we were looking Okay, so maybe Lee's Savannah. just a little overwrought. He's a little bit angry, isn't he? Clementine? He's stressed Three. out. Mm. What else have you told this man? Lee? Oh, for fuck's sake. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh, jeez. It's like we need this. Yay. More dead people. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's eh. up there. Maybe he's just like I can't get him to imagining out. shit in his state. Stay here. Uh, I'd yeah, be cause... jumping at shadows. <laughs> okay, ascending into the attic of where. Why do I feel like you know, like John Grudge? <laughs> 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 No, you can't do it. <laughs> I was trying to make a noise that was audible. Now he just flat lost his fucking mind from the look of things. Kenny, Kenny broke it. You okay, <laughs> just playing Kenny broke. <laughs> I broke it, you fix it. <laughs> oh, that was my little brother. The uh -huh. hell is that? Oh my god. Yeah, it's dead people. Well, dead person. He looks like he died of starvation. Yeah, that's kind of the look that... Well, did you notice all the cupboards and sides were empty? Hmm. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened? Uh, I believe child abuse is kind of what went on here. Well, I mean, Kenny just worked it out right there. Yeah. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. The 
before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. <laughs> Me, the amateur therapist. <laughs> it's like, here, you shoot this dude. <laughs> like, shoot shoot dude. this kid. Go this on. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> I'm a terrible, terrible person. I know that you can. I couldn't even. Like I'm going to pressure you into shooting this kid. Granted, this kid wants to eat you, but you know. Yeah, well, it's it's in no condition to be eating anyone, really, mm. is it? No, apparently my my um somewhat. Pressuring Pseudo psychology. Tactics. Yeah. Uh, I'm a history teacher. That means I know all about how your brain works. <laughs> I don't know. It, it makes for a good bit of dramatic tension. And there's like a... There's a redemptive circle going on, right? Mm. Although everything Kenny turns... Uh, turns? Everything Kenny touches seems to turn to shit. So, you know, there's that. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, director, let's let's pile it on poor old Ken a little bit more. You <laughs> killed me, <laughs> Daddy. Why? Hey, you just left him with the gun. Yeah. Last time we did that, somebody shot himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Le whoops. We are terrible people. Yeah, you wanna sort of. Bury this kid with his dog. You've got a hole already dug. Cat? Yeah? For the love of God. Yeah? Stop being so intuitive. <laughs> and also awful. What? The, the boy loved his dog. I'm sure he'll be happy with uh, being buried alongside him. Sometimes I kind of feel like Telltale layer it on a bit too thick with stuff like this, though. Mm. It's like, I know it's going for emotional effectiveness and impact and what the hell ever else, but there comes a point, like when you're sawing through David's, uh, sorry, cutting through David's leg with the axe in episode two. Yeah. Where they just, they make their point and then they drag it out to a painful degree. Yeah. Like this, I actually have to like shovel earth in three or four times. You know, it, it like makes you watch each little bit. You know, really let it sink in that you're doing this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm well aware. It's what has to be done. Why are we? <laughs> it's like, why is this such a big deal? We shot as <laughs> we shot a zombie. Yeah, but this is more for Kenny's sake than anything else, isn't it? This yeah. is. There's yeah, symbolism this... happening. Yeah. And everyone's drinking it in, like, oh, that's so sad. It's like, yeah. It's a zombie apocalypse. Kids will die. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dead children is a thing that's going to happen. Sorry to break it to you dudes, but uh, this is a thing that will happen. Ah, but you're horrible, unfeeling monsters, don't you? Don't you realise the significance that, yeah, we do. It's just like, what the fuck can we do about it? Oh, hey, look, dead dude. Hmm, dude, certainly. Hey, hey! Nope, not uh -huh. dead. Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Can you stop Please. shouting? What's You're going, going to draw dead people to you. And you've got enough of them in the house. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or like, a Well, he was kind of stood out in the open. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been Again, tension. The guy on the radio. Mm. And you know what? This is where I'm going to leave it. <laughs> That's cruel. Well, we are almost precisely on the half hour mark, I think. Mm. So, good enough opener to episode four, you think? I think it could work. <laughs> Well, then we won't scrap this recording, if it's recorded correctly. In that case, I have been mortal, and... 
I've got this exit entirely wrong. Yes, you have. And I have been Sushi Cat, and I hope you've all had a fantastic day or night. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.